So let's have a little game. Helbert's Grand Hotel. In Hilbert's Grand Hotel, we have rooms which are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, dot, dot, dot. So counting numbers. So you're the manager of Hilbert's Grand Hotel. You have an infinite number of rooms. All right, we have a group show up, and we have the alpha group. who show up. So this is the uh, Lodge Alpha. And Lodge Alpha has an infinite number of members. And everybody has a name. What's your name? One. What's your name? Two. What's your name? Three. So you're the manager and up pulls this bus that's infinitely long with an infinite number of people in it, which is countable, with everybody has their own unique name. One, two, three. Can you give them a room? How would you do that? You would have to form a bijection. Go to room one, go to room two, go to room three, go to room four, dot, dot, dot. Does everybody get a room? Yes. Are all the rooms full? Yes. How much money have you made? Infinite. Awesome. All of a sudden, all the rooms are full, and then here comes the betas. Every room is full with an alpha. And then here you have another bus that's infinitely long with the beta group. Hey, we're the, we're the beta lodge. We're more important than the alpha lodge. We need to have, we have an infinite amount of money to pay for the rooms. We want a room. Uh, you're all full, but could you give them all a room? I have an, but how? They're all full. How can you get an infinite amount of empty rooms to fit in your infinite amount of rooms? What function would you do? Would this work on the speaker? Dear Alpha members, please take your name, multiply it by two, and move to that room. So what have I done? If I say, Dear Alphas, please take your name, multiply it by two, and move to that room, that means he goes to two, he goes to four, he goes to six, he goes to eight. Do they all get a room? Yep, they're all going to the evens, right? How many evens are there? They're countably the same size. Then what do I say? Dear betas, take your name, multiply it by two, and subtract one. Go to that room. Where do they all go? Go to the one, go to three, go to five, go to seven. Does everybody get a room? Yes. Uh, you could have done it. You could look at it this way. This is like this would be like the idea of like duck duck goose. You go, you go. You're the manager, and you're going to do this down the road. You go to room one, you go to room two, and you go along and tap them on the head. Please go one, please go two, please go three, please go four, please go five, go to six, go to seven, go to eight. All right, just go down. Tap their heads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Will you tap all their heads? Yes. Will everybody have a room? Yes. What if I had three groups of infinity? Could everybody get a room? Yeah. Right? If I had three groups of infinity, how would you do it? So we had C show up, C1, C2, C3, C4. How would you do that? How about this? One, two, three, and let's say you want to weave it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Will you count everyone? Yep. Will everybody get a room? Yeah. So wait. I can fit three groups that are infinitely long into one group of rooms that's infinitely long, all of which are countable. So that's telling me that these three groups of infinity are actually still the same size as the rooms themselves. OK. How about this? Your group A1, person 1. Your per group 1, person 2. Group one, person three, group one, person four. You are group two. You're group two. Let's ah, don't put the commas in there. I'm going to go two one. A two two. A two three. A two four. A three one. A three two. A three three. A three four. But I'm going to go. 
can say the following. An infinite amount of infinite groups shows up to get a room. Does walking this direction work anymore? Because if I start walking just to the right and I start tapping one, two, three, will I ever stop to get to even the second person of every bus? So how can you walk through this group so that every time you walk, it's a finite length that stops, turns around, and then goes the other direction and guarantees that you're going to tap everybody? We, we weave it. We go through this and say, I'm going to do this. Ski slope it. If you ski slope it, you start in the corner and go down into diagonal. Is every diagonal always finite length? Yes, it gets longer and longer and longer, but it's still finite length. And so I go, you are person one, you are person two, you're person three, fourth room, fifth room, sixth room, seventh room, eighth room, ninth room, tenth room. If I do this problem, will everyone get a room? Yes, so that tells me an infinite grouping of infinite people is still the same size as 1, 2, 3, 4 to infinity, because they pair off. What does this tell me about the rational numbers? Instead of writing this as 2, 1, what if I wrote this as, for example, um, 1 over 2? Every one of these numbers could be written as what? A rational. Like I could sit there and say that this is 1 over 1, this is 2 over 1, this is 3 over 1, this is 4 over 1, that's the ints. This is a half, 2 over 2, 3 over 2, 4 over 2. This is a third, 2 thirds, 3 thirds, 4 thirds. Is every denominator going to show up? If going down is denominators and going to the right is numerators, is every positive denominator going to be here? Yes. Is every positive numerator going to be here? Yes. Are even the non-rationals here, like 2 over 2? Yes. So what does that tell us? It tells us that the things even bigger than the rationals, because it includes things like 2 over 2 and 4 over 2 and 9 over 2, are still countable for the positives. How can I handle the negatives? What's the difference between 2 and negative 2? Just a sign. So what should I do for every one of these numbers? Just do a plus minus. And then when I tap the guy's head, he gets what? Two taps. You get two rooms. Why? The plus of you and the minus of you. And then what's zero? He's special. He goes to room one. So all the rational numbers are actually what? Countable. So Hilbert's Grand Hotel, using this idea, can show us that the cardinality of the rational numbers is the cardinality of the ants. Which ought to make your head hurt a little bit, because how many rationals are there between zero and one? Infinite. How many rationals are between any two rational numbers, how close they are? Infinite. But they're still the same size as simply the counting number.